Hello, and welcome to another edition of Stunt PK Reviews. Today we'll be looking at the new Mega Bloks Halo Spartan Tribute Pack, set number 97520. This is a Toys R Us exclusive and part of the new special edition collection. Here's a look at the front of the box. It contains 180 pieces and is designed for ages 8 and up. The bubble window showcases 20 micro action figures of Spartans wearing the Mark IV armor. It features several colors of armor that we are familiar with from previous sets, but it also features new colors that are exclusive to this set. This is the last chance for collectors to acquire this original mold as it's now being retired. The new, superposable microaction figures will take their place. This is the second 20 figure special edition pack, following up with the hard to find Ultimate Combat pack from last year. Here's a look at the back of the box. It has a photo of all 20 figures posed and featured on the included display stand. It also has a sneak preview of some of the new superposable micro action figures coming out in the new Halo 2 Anniversary Collection. The Anniversary Collection Battleground set featuring Tartarus and the Anniversary Collection Hierarch's Shadow Convoy featuring the Prophet of Truth and Sergeant Johnson. Looking inside the box, we have a plastic tray which holds all the figures and weapons and the display stand is separated in both loose and bagged pieces. There is a fold-out which includes all the part identification and assembly instructions. Let's take a look at the included weapons. The assortment of included weapons vary in color from green, light silver, indigo purple, and a few translucent colors including green, smoke, and cyan. The one disappointing feature is a lack of detail and paint applications on these weapons. However, you get a nice assortment of weapons. Included are the new sniper rifle, the rocket launcher, the Spartan laser, the carbine, the SOCOM magnum, the assault rifle, the flamethrower, the energy sword, the plasma rifle, the grenade launcher, the old style shotgun, a needler, the battle rifle, the new style shotgun, a brute spiker, a silenced SMG, a target locator, a regular SMG, a DMR, a plasma pistol, a regular magnum, and four frag grenades. Let's take a look at the display stand assembly. There are 34 pieces which make up the display stand. It is a simple and quick build that can be done in a matter of minutes. Megablox added a nice touch by adding four of the emblems from the game that you can add to the front of your display stand. They include the Molnar, Stuck, Spartan League, and Slayer emblems. Now let's take a look at the new Spartan figure colors. You will notice there are new colors, but there are also colors that have been used in the past. In the end, we will cover the differences between these newer figures and the previously released figures. Some have differences, and some don't. Starting off, we have the brown Spartan. Next, we have the pink Spartan. Then we move on to the dark blue Spartan. We have the yellow Spartan. We have the lime green Spartan. We have the original green Spartan, or Sage. We have the purple Spartan. We have the red Spartan. We have the steel Spartan. A new light tan Spartan. The cyan Spartan. The orange Spartan. The new gold Spartan, which I like a lot. The crimson Spartan. The Silver Spartan, the Blue Spartan, the White or Arctic Spartan, the Translucent Smoke Spartan, the Translucent Blue or Cyan Spartan, and the Zombie Glow-in-the-Dark Spartan. 
So now let's look at the similarities and differences of some of the new figures that have the same colors as old figures. First, let's take a look at the Cyan Spartan. This was originally a convention exclusive color. The new figure is on the left and the original figure is on the right. The first thing to notice is the amount of wash applied to the original figure. It highlights the details a lot more than the new figure which has little to no wash at all. The second thing to notice is the color of the hands and under armor. The new figure they are black and the original figure they are gray. One of the subtle differences is the leg stem that holds the legs on the figure. On the new figure it is black and on the original figure it is cyan in color. Last but not least, the block that came with the original figure is numbered and is difficult to reproduce. Next we have the Steel Spartan. This was a UK mail away exclusive. The original figure is on the right and the new figure is on the left. Like the Cyan Spartan, the wash on the original figure is much darker than on the newer figure. It also has the leg stem which is the same color, steel, versus the black leg stem on the newer figure. It also comes with a numbered brick that does not come with the new figure. Unlike the Cyan Spartan, the Under Armour and hands are black on both figures. Next, we have the White or Arctic Spartan. The original is on the right and the new one is on the left. Here again we have a difference in the amount of wash applied and the original has gray hands and gray Under Armour whereas the new one has black hands and black Under Armour. Also note the white leg stem on the original figure and the black leg stem on the new figure. Now let's look at the purple Spartan. Here it's very easy to distinguish the color of the original purple series 2 rare Spartan on the right to the new purple on the left. Next we have the red Spartan. The original is on the right and the new one is on the left. These are very similar in style. Both the wash is kind of light and the pans and under armor are black. The only difference is the original has the red leg stem versus the black leg stem on the new one. Next we have the silver Spartan. The original is on the right and the new one is on the left. The only difference between these two is the wash on the original which is much darker. The hands and under armor are both black. Next we have the blue Spartan. The original is on the right and the new one is on the left. These both have black hands and the black under armor. The original has the blue stem for the legs and a little extra wash applied. Other than that they are very similar. Here is the original green color Spartans. The original is on the right, the new one is on the left. Once again the wash has a little more detail on the original. The original also has the gray hands and gray under armor as opposed to the black hands and black under armor. And the original has the green leg stem as opposed to the black leg stem. Next we have the yellow Spartan. The original is on the right and the new figure is on the left. Note the gray hands and gray under armor on the original figure compared to the black on the new. Also the wash is much more defined on the original as compared to little wash on the new. Also note the original figure has the yellow leg stem and the new figure has the black leg stem. And now we look at the orange Spartan. The original is on the right and the new one is on the left. Note the original has the gray under armor and gray hands and the new one has the black under armor and black hands. Also the wash on the original is more defined than on the new one. Lastly the orange leg stem is on the original and a black leg stem is on the new one. But there's more. There's another wave of orange Spartans that came out which is virtually identical to the new style. They both have the black hands and black under armor, the black stem, and very little wash. Now we'll take a look at the translucent figures. Here is the translucent smoke or brown Spartan. The original is on the right and the new one is on the left. This one is easy to tell the difference as the original is all translucent from head to toe and the new one has black under armor and black hands and a gold painted visor. 
The other thing is the original comes with a translucent block that is numbered. Last, we have the translucent blue Spartan. Or, in the new one, it looks more translucent cyan. The original is on the right, and the new one is on the left. Once again, the original is translucent all the way through the entire body, whereas the new figure is black hands and black underarmor and a gold visor. The original also came with a translucent block with a coded serial number on it. Here are all the Spartans set up on the display stand. I really like this set. First of all, you get 20 different Spartans. You get cool colors that you've never had before, and you get a multitude of weapons to go along with your Spartans. At a retail price of $49.99, that's just $2.50 a figure. That's cheaper than a blind bag figure. My only disappointment is the lack of detail on the weapons, but that's not enough to deter it from a 5 out of 5 Gars. But you should buy it soon, because if it's any indication of last year's special edition set, they sell out early. Thank you for watching Stunt PK Reviews. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, we got 5 out of 5 Gars. <laughs>